I'm starting to put the metal up and it's looking really rainy so I don't know just how much I can get up I got the other side done I'll get as much of this up as I can but I can't get the camera wet so I have a string here two inches down from the the bottom uh, lathing and I'm lining up the metal on that string Well, I can see some little water droplets hitting that, so see how far we can get with it. Well, it's getting heavier. Shucks. This is the sheet I've been looking for. It was on the bottom of the stack. That's what I was looking for, right there. I've got some metal that'll come up the rake. And I'll have to put it on before I can put the ridge cap on. And it's not here yet. Well, I'm all finished with the roof. This is called burnished slate, the color. And on this, I put uh, little rake pieces up the rake there. But I still see my little plate where I put the pegs through. To hold everything together which they really did hold got all the braces out all the scaffolds down that i had to use to put the metal up with it's kind of nice to walk through here without bumping my head i've got the pegs in where i countersunk and put the uh, lag bolts in to fill in the holes got that done everywhere i think there was 36 of those that i had to put in and down here on the knee braces, got the pegs in there. I think I've showed this before, but I make a little star right on the end of that peg. I just use my utility knife and do that. Made a lot of stars. Even with the boards on, you still can see the, the knee braces there. They're exposed on the inside. I've started putting all the batten strips on. These are uh, two and a half inches wide, and I'm nailing it on with the, my nail gun, my finish nailer. Quite a few pieces of them. The way I'm marking these, uh, I'm putting my beveled edge up. Just Run it right up underneath that ribbon. 
I'm just making just a little bit of a mark down there at the bottom. And I'm numbering these. That's number one. And I'll go down through there and I'll mark them all. Then I'll go up and cut them all. And then put them all on. That's number two. I made a cap to put over the framing and the, the ends of the boards out there. And it's four inches wide, and I'm just fitting up against the post here. This is uh, what we call our red cedar. I didn't want to make this too wide because I really didn't want the idea of somebody wanting to sit on that. It's just wide enough to set a soda can or a fountain drink on there. I think I probably failed to mention, I put boards over the little gables. I think I mentioned that I was going to, but I didn't, I didn't get it videoed. And there'll be a little strip that goes up to the peak and uh, a little batch of strips that come up to that. As I always like to do, there's a 30 degree bevel on the bottom side of the battens. Which is something I've done for years and years. Yeah. 